Hello friends, which is the right direction for my solar panels? Is it magnetic north-south or true north-south? Let us understand this in the video. Direction of the solar panels. Now to get the maximum sunlight, the right direction of the solar panel either towards true north or true south. And these are also called geographical poles. If I am using geographical north pole, this is similar to true north. Geographical south pole is similar to true south. Our earth is divided into two equal parts by the equator line. And the portion that is above the equator line is called the northern hemisphere. While the part that is below the equator line is called the southern hemisphere. For people living in the northern hemisphere such as in India, they should keep their solar panels towards true south. While on the other hand, people living in southern hemisphere such as in Australia, they should point their solar panels towards true north. So for northern hemisphere, the direction of solar panels is true south and for people in southern hemisphere, the direction of solar panels is true north. Let us understand the difference between magnetic poles and geographical poles. We know that our earth behaves like a magnet and the magnetic field lines emerge from magnetic north and goes into the magnetic south of the earth. The green line shows the geographical north-south line that is true north true south line while on the other hand the red line is showing the magnetic north and magnetic south of the earth and these two lines are different. These two lines do not align. Let us understand it more clearly. Now you might be wondering why I have taken magnetic north besides geographical south and magnetic south besides geographical north. If we have geographical south, it should have magnetic south. Besides to it, similarly if I have geographical north, then I should have magnetic north besides the geographical north. So why there is a difference? Let us understand it. Let us suppose I have select some location XYZ and I am using magnetic compass to find the magnetic poles of the earth. The magnetic compass tells you points towards the magnetic north and magnetic south of the earth. It does not point to geographical poles of the earth. And we know that magnetic compass is itself a magnet. And earth is also a magnet. Properties of magnet is that opposite poles attract. So the north of the magnetic compass is actually the south of the earth. Magnetic south of the earth. Similarly, the south of the magnetic compass is the magnetic north of the earth. But for the sake of simplicity, we take south of the compass same as the south magnetic south of the earth. North of the compass same as magnetic north of the earth. At present, the magnetic north pole is located near Ellesmere Island in northern Canada. Now why these two lines are different? Because they arise from different phenomena. The magnetic lines are originated from inside the earth. It is due to the circulating current produced by molten iron inside the earth. The earth's magnetic fields are continuously changing with respect to its geographical poles. These are due to changes in the magnetic flux inside the earth's crust. While on the other hand, the geographical poles are the points around which our earth is rotating. And these two lines do not align. The magnetic poles of the earth due to changing magnetic field may or may not align with the true north or true south pole of the earth. This is the reason behind the difference between two between the magnetic and the true poles. Now the next point is how to find the true north-south line so that we can align our solar panel in this direction. And one of those methods is to use combination of uh, magnetic declination and magnetic compass. But before that we need to understand what is magnetic declination. The magnetic declination is the angle between geographical north and the magnetic north of the earth. And if somehow I get to know the magnetic declination, I can then rotate my compass by the amount of magnetic declination and get the true south or true north pole line. Now you can see that magnetic declination is the angle between the magnetic north and the geographical north and it is represented as theta. Now if I rotate my compass by angle theta then my compass will point to the true north of the earth. So let us understand it more clearly. If the magnetic declination of your location is west, then you need to rotate the compass clockwise by the same number of degrees in declination. And if the declination is east, then rotate your compass counterclockwise by the same amount of declination. 
Now, where to get the value of declination? The value of declination, magnetic declination can be found on the internet. There are different websites that can tell you the magnetic declination of your location. Let us understand more clearly with the help of an example. By using magnetic compass and the magnetic declination, we can find the true north-south line of the earth. Suppose your location is New York. The magnetic declination of New York is 12 degree 38 minutes west. Now, as we have learned that if the magnetic declination is towards west, you need to rotate your magnetic compass in the clockwise direction by the amount of magnetic declination. The first step is align the magnetic compass needles along the north-south points. Now, you can picture thereafter rotate the compass clockwise by 12 degree 38 minutes to get the true north-south line. Let us take another example. Now you are in New Delhi and you have placed your magnetic compass on New Delhi. The magnetic declination of New Delhi is 1 degree 16 minutes east. Earlier New York it was west. In the case of New Delhi it is east. So for the case of east we will rotate our compass in the counterclockwise direction by 1 degree 16 minutes. And this will give you the true north-south line. So in this way, by using magnetic declination and the magnetic compass, we can find the true north-south direction of the earth and we can use this direction to place our solar panels to get the optimum amount of sunlight and get the maximum electricity to run our electrical appliances. Another method is shortest shadow method. And this method is based on the principle that when sun is at its highest point at noon, the shadow form is the shortest. And when you join the line at the ends of the shadow, it is the true north-south line. Choose a day when the sky is clear and the sun is shining. Wait till noon and you can start your experiment around 11.25, 11.30. I have taken 11.25 a.m. Take a thin straight stick and mount it on a flat surface. The sun will cast its shadow. As the sun rises, the shadow position will change and it will start decreasing. You can see that as sun rises, with the time, the uh, length of the shadow, it will start decreasing. To get the sh shortest shadow length, after every few minutes, start marking points at the end of the shadow. Now you can see that I have marked points. And when you observe that, now the shadow starts appearing longer than the previous one. You can see that. 11.25, the length of the shadow. 11.45, the length of the shadow is decreasing. Thereafter, it is also decreasing. 12.25 p.m., the shadow is also decreasing. But 12.45, the shadow starts increasing. So 12.25 is the time when we get the true north-south line by joining the ends of the shadow. And this line will help me in placing my solar panels to get the optimum amount of sunlight. So how do we conclude? People living in Northern Hemisphere, place they should place their solar panels toward true south. And for people living in the Southern Hemisphere, place the solar panels towards true north. If the magnetic declination of a location is best, rotate the compass clockwise by the same number of degrees in declination. If declination is east, rotate your compass counterclockwise by the same degrees. And another is shortest shadow method that uses the principle that as the sun rises, the length of the shadow start decreasing and there comes a point when the shadow form is the shortest. And this is the point when you join the ends of the shadow, you get the true north-south line. So these are the two methods. I hope things are clear. I will be tuned to this channel. Thank you for watching the video. I will come up with another interesting video next time. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.